welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to do a full brake system flush on this 2002 Camaro SS. Now I've already got one of these videos up on my 2018 uh, Chevy Silverado. But what I find is a lot of people like to see stuff done on their actual car, like their actual vehicle. So I'm going to do one on this Camaro and I'll probably have a few more up in the future. But anyway, hopefully this will help somebody out. Okay, I'm going to start by draining the, as much of the old fluid out of the master cylinder as I can. Now I'm going to fill this back up to the top with uh, synthetic dot three. You don't want to drop or you don't want to drip any of this on your paint because it's hard on paint. So I just got to get a rag. Okay, now I'm going to hook up my, uh, I'm going to do this the easy way. Uh, I'm going to hook up my Motive Products uh, Power Bleeder that I got from Amazon. Uh, they're not that expensive. I think I got a little less than a hundred bucks. That's uh, taxes and everything. Well, you remove the cover, put this one on. You got to make sure you get the one for GM because they got for several different makes. Okay, now what we want to do is pump this up to about 15. Okay, so they recommend about 15 PSI. I put mine up closer to 20. I just find it works better. Okay, we're going to start at the, the back on the passenger side. It's just the furthest from the master cylinder. We'll put this on the bleeder. Okay, we want to kind of loop that up. It's 10 millimeter for the bleeder screw. Okay, so we'll probably let this get close to half full to, to get the most out of the out of the lines and the master cylinder to get that new fluid in there. Now you might want to check the master cylinder, make sure it's not getting too low. We don't want to push air into the lines. Okay, so it's still got plenty in there, but it is getting a little bit low, so I might fill it back up. So what I'll do is I'll shut this off, and I'll go fill the master cylinder back up, and then we'll, like I said, I want to get about, I'll right about to there, that there should get all the old stuff out of this side here. Because right now you're not just taking it out of the line and the caliper on the side, you're also emptying the, master cylinder okay so i filled the master cylinder back up so we can take some more out of here how well you can see it's pushing out steady it ain't pushing real good but
like I said, we'll let it get to about, oh, about to here. This will be the most we'll take out. So what we're trying to do is empty the master cylinder plus the, the ABS assembly and the line and this caliper. The rest of them you won't have to take as much out. Now, if this was really old fluid, you'd be able to tell the difference because it'd be black, and then when it started coming clear again, you'd uh, you'd know when you had all the, the old stuff out. But this here, this car here, I just did it a couple years ago, so the fluid's still pretty clean. That's probably enough out of that side. So we'll tighten the bleeder screw back up. Move the hose. Okay. And replace the little cap. And I'll put the wheel back on and then we'll move to the driver's side rear tire. Okay, so I filled the master cylinder back up and pumped the, the power bleeder back up. So we're on the driver's side rear now. We won't need to take quite as much out of this side. I actually think there is a slight color difference, so we shouldn't... If I get the light in here a little better. It's quite amber right now when it turns clear. So that stuff's fairly clear, so we should be able to tell when we get all the old stuff out. See, it's starting to clear up now. I don't know if you can see the difference, but it's getting pretty clear. So that's good. We can tell the difference now. Like I said, we don't have to take as much out of this side because we already uh, emptied the master cylinder and probably the the ABS setup there, whatever, I don't know what it's exactly what it's called, but you, you should be able to see the difference there right now. It's coming out clear, more clear than it was. So we pretty well get all the old stuff out. So I'll tighten that up. And we'll remove this. That one's done. So we don't have to take too much more out now. We got most of the old stuff out. Okay, so now we're on the passenger side front. We'll just let's move the cover. Okay, we should be able to tell the difference when all the old stuff's out. See how that's fairly like an amber color? I think the new fluid will be clear when it starts coming through. Okay, it's starting to clear up down here. Okay, you can see the difference in the color. It's a little darker here than it is here, so we should have all the old stuff out. Just let her push a little extra out here. Yeah, you can see a big difference here. Cat back on. And we'll get the wheel back on. Okay guys, last one, the driver's side front. Shouldn't have to take too much out of here. Okay, so you can see it's amber colored right now and it should, uh, when we get all the old stuff out, it should clear up. It's pretty clear now, so we probably get all the old stuff out. I'll just, uh, Bleed it down till right around the full mark. 
see how it's nice and clear now. Just gonna bring it down to the max mark and call that good. Okay guys, so we'll get her all bled, all the old fluids out, she's all new. Uh, as far as how often this should be done, some people say two, three years. I myself, I don't know, I've run vehicles for years and years and never done it, so, but I just wanna do it for the Camaro. Uh, anyway, we'll take her out. I, I don't expect to see any difference. So I've done this before and I didn't notice any difference. And uh, even this here, master your your uh, master cylinder, I got a brace for it. I never noticed any difference. These cars seem to have a little bit of sponginess in the pedal built right into them. Okay guys, so I just come back from taking the car out and uh, I didn't notice any improvement in the in the braking system, which I, I didn't expect to see one because I've done this before and there was no improvement. But my main reason for doing this is this right here. This here controls your ABS and I suspect probably the only place to get a replacement nowadays would probably be the wrecking yard. So I want to take care of it so I want to make sure it's got fresh fluid in it every couple of years. It uh, doesn't cost much, doesn't take that long, and it's uh, good preventative maintenance just so uh, this thing here stays in good shape. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.